Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Zach. And I'm Lexi. And welcome back from break. It was a great 10 days. What did you do? I went to my grandparents' house. That sounds like fun. How about you? What did you do? I caught up on my sleep, worked, and spent time with family. That also sounds great. And now we're back for our final nine weeks. This year has flown by. It has. Let's see what we can expect from the weather. Hey guys, we're back after a long restful break. Hope you got enough sleep today. Anyways, it was really windy out today. What's the weather going to be like? Well, it's going to be a high of 55 with a low of 24, partly rainy, with 15% precipitation, 54% humidity, and 13 mile per hour winds. Lunch today is going to be Tony's Pizza Cheeseburger, General Tacos, Chicken with Rice, Green Beans, and Never Changing Salads and Veggies. Well, that's it from us. Back to you, Thank you, Kanara and Sam. I love spring, even if the temperatures are a little chilly. So here are ways you can get involved around this week. First, students in Mrs. Myers' college prep group will meet in the conference room tomorrow during fifth period. Please bring your folder, permission forms for the field trip, and your pass, and we will see you then. Comet Bible Study, or CBS, is after school this Wednesday in room 287. Also on Wednesday, key club officers, you meet at 3.30 in the foods room. Thursday morning, Red Club meets in room 209 at 7.30 a.m. And then Thursday after school, Guitar Club gets together in room 180. Also meeting after school is Handmade by Me. They meet this Thursday in the foods room at 3.30. Next up, we have Quinn and Julia with sports. Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Julia. And I'm Quinn. And here is sporting news. First up, we have Ethan and Jack with information on the championship game tonight. Thanks guys, I can't wait to see the game tonight. Now here's some news for upcoming sports. For you cheaters, tryouts is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Meet on the football field unless it is raining. Then meet in the main gym. There is a parent meeting today at 4.30 in our library. If you are interested in trying out, pick an information packet up in the athletic office. And here's the game information for the week. Today baseball is away against Olin Tangy. Then on Wednesday and Friday they are at home and they end their week with a Saturday away game against Lincoln Heights. And softball is tra traveling today to Olin Changi, and then Wednesday they are at home, and then the ladies end their week on Friday at Olin Upper Arlington. Tennis is away tomorrow against Olin Tangi Liberty. Wednesday they are at home, Thursday they are away against Marysville, and then they end their week on Friday here at home. And then track has a home meeting tomorrow night. Good luck to all our athletes competing this week. That is it in Sporting News. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, Julia and Quinn. Now here is some scholarship information. Booster scholarship applications for seniors are now available in the athletic office. Applications are due by April 15th. Next up, we have Mackenzie with Current Events. Good morning, Central Crossing. Welcome back and welcome to Current Events. Europe the European Union and Turkish officials reached an agreement on Friday and has to deal with the abundance of Syrian refugees flooding Europe. The final version of this agreement was voted on before representatives from the 28 European Union member states who approved it unanimously, according to the European Council President. This discussion was held to discuss the overabundance of refugees into Europe since World War II. More than one million people who have fled to Europe in World War I compared to more than 2.7 million just registered today in Turkey alone. This discussions could be significant for Turkey, not only in receiving final financial aid to deal with its problem, but also expedite its push to join the 28 member European Union. David Gulu told reporters in Brussels, our goal is to help all the refugees as well as to deepen Turkish Union relations, which is good news for our continent and for humanity altogether. Today, the first boats arrived in Greece to pick up refugees who did not seek asylum and take them to Turkey. This agreement is very controversial, so I'll keep you guys updated. That's all for me. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Mackenzie. We appreciate the information. And now we have prom news. It's not too late to register for a free prom dress, accessories, and a personal shopper. Check out the website below. The next giveaway, which is also the last giveaway, is this Saturday. 
Also in prom news, remember that all fees, including cafeteria charges, must be paid before you can purchase a prom ticket. Tickets will go on sale a few weeks before prom. Next up, here's Ashley with the joke of the day. Hey Central, I'm Ashley and this is Jokes of the Day. Let's get started. So, why didn't the toilet paper cross the road? It got stuck in a crack. <laughs> What's a pepper that won't leave you alone? Jalapeno business. Before I go, I want to welcome everyone back from spring break. Well, that's it for me. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, Ashley. Always good to leave with the joke. Well, that's it for today. Have a great Monday. See you tomorrow, Central.